As the countdown continued, with just over 1,200 days left to save the planet, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members in Taichung, Formosa or Taiwan collaborated with 29 other co-organizers to host a climate change conference entitled Protect Our Home with Love on October the 11th. The letters L-O-V-E signify L for Lohas, which stands for Lifestyles of Health and Sustainability, O for Organic, V for Vegan, and E for Eco Dimensions to Save the Planet. Thousands of participants attended the event to stay informed about the latest facts on global warming, ways to live sustainably, and the single most effective solution, the plant-based animal-free diet. The conference was co-hosted by Thelmo Louis Buddy Kananan, the famous Philippine TV host of NBN Television. Discussions on the themes of love were conducted by distinguished panelists including environmental scientists Dr. Lia Shashen and Professor Liu Chongming, famous Formosan or Taiwanese film and television personality Ms. Tan Aichun, President of the Formosa's first veg-promoting website, Mr. Ling Hong Huai. Chief Editor of Personal and Cultural Enterprise Company Limited, Mr. Ling Xu Wen Er, -uh, and former pig farmer turned vegan, Mr. Luo Hong Xian. Other dignitaries included guest speaker, the Honorable Mayor Amelita Navarro of Santiago, the Philippines, and Mr. Chan Tian Wan. Deputy Speaker of Taichung City Council. Graciously accepting an invitation to attend via video conference as the event's guest of honor was Supreme Master Ching Hai. We now invite you to join us for part seven of the eight-part rebroadcast of the video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai entitled Protect Our Home with Love, held on October 11, 2009, Taichung, Formosa, or Taiwan. Now we're joined by Mr. Chen Tian Wen, the Deputy Speaker of Taichung City Council, who will share with us some very good news about community vegan solutions to climate change. Let's welcome wow. Mr. Chen. Welcome, Mr. Chen. Hello 所造成的严重的伤害都非常的了解根据专家所研究的报告我们了解畜牧业是造成全球暖化的主要的因素 也严重的破坏在生态平衡 以及我们国对外的研究的学者专家都提出一个共同的观念，就是素食啊，有减缓我们气候变迁的一种方法，也为了啊响应环保署每日减碳啊一公斤的呼吁下，我们议会啊在九月的临时大会。我们也有一个提案 
能够在一个礼拜减少啊，能够有一天呢，能够用我们素食啊方法。那么我们市政府的教育处呢，也发函我们各国中小的同学们呢。呃，鼓励我们要落实一个礼拜一日的素食。Bravo. 为了地球有序的生存，我们都尽尽一份心力。素食是我们个人能够做得到，啊，那么每周一日素食，只是一个开端，一个开始。希望我们大家努力。以及我们上市的加时，啊，数十人口，我们希望是越来越多，啊，那么这样子的话，我们地球会更好。这是我的建言，谢谢。God bless, God bless, God bless. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful news, Mr. Chen. Wonderful news. Thank you and thank your. Enlightened government and your people who support it. Very good. We should do that everywhere and more. Wonderful city. A good step. Good step. Thank you, Master. Good government. Yeah. Thank you so much, the Beauty Speaker of Taichung City Council, Mr. Chen. And we have now Mr. Lin Xu Wen Er, the chief editor of Persimmon Books and the CEO of website VegPlanet.com. Wu Shang Shi, 你好。你好。我今年大概四十出头岁，但是我认识你大概是在二十七八年前，也就是在我大概十五六岁的时候，那时候还有公共电话，然后上面就放了好几本。小小的册子，上面就是《即刻开悟之药》。我在那个时候我就看过您的书籍了。Wow. 那所以我很高兴今天能够有这个机会，能够跟师傅直接面对面的做这样子的沟通。这样。那接下来我要问一个比较实际的问题， wow. 就是说，我们刚刚大家都有提到说所谓的畜牧业的问题，这样。但是其实，呃，因为有供需才会有杀戮。但是不管你有没有吃素。我们素食者跟荤食者都面临同样一个结果是，呃，空气不好，环境不好，但是素食者还是要承担一切的责任。那不管他有没有吃肉，这样，这实际上来看，它其实并不是一个公平的现象。所以，呃，曾经有人提出说，那能不能说在肉品里面征收所谓的肉品的税，能够让吃肉的付出更多的代价，然后以减轻所谓的肉品的需求，这样。但是这个方式其实又蛮困难的。所以我个人有一个想法是说，其实像以前有所谓的香烟的问题，香烟的问题到现在来讲，抽烟的瘾君子已经已经很可怜的需要躲到呃室外才能够那个抽烟这样子。那我想这是一个烟害防治法一个很好的结果。那有没有可能就是说我们在肉品的上面也像香烟防治法一样，推动一个立法？让购物的人他们在购买肉品的时候，一样可以有一些至少。有一些警语，有一些标示，可以在旁边写说：多吃肉，可能多摄取动物性蛋白质、嗯，对你的健康是不好的。然后对地球暖化会产生多少的碳排放量？如果可以透过立法，让一个人在吃的时候，他看到那样子的标语，嗯、应该多少会警醒他说：他现在眼中的牛排、口中的牛排或是明虾，可能要付出的代价很大。那不知道说吴上师对于说这样子的提案。呃，还还是说还有没有其他的更实际的方式，可以让我们能够让这个地球的暖化现象可以改善的更快？谢谢。Thank you, thank you, very good, very good, very good, Mr. Lin Xu. I'm very impressed. Yes, to see that you are both chief editor of. A big book publishing company, as well as the head of a vegetarian website. Very young and very, very enthusiastic, very compassionate. Thank you. Ah,、uh, 
for being in such a position. You must be a very busy man, I understand. But you look so healthy and handsome. <laughs> and uh, as a media leader in the veg world, you still continue doing your job and still look good. So the vegetarian diet clearly helps you look good and healthy and intelligent to do all your job. <laughs> Bravo for your positive effect already, for being a walking example. And yes, your proposal is a very, very good idea. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Give him an applause. Bravo. Doesn't he look handsome and young? Yeah. And <laughs> very enthusiastic and smart. Yes. I'm sure your wife would say that every day. <laughs> now, uh, we should be warning people all about the products containing meat and milk and eggs also, fish even. Anything to do with animal products, we should as you said, put a warning label on them. This is because these products bring many of the same health problems and involves the same animal cruelty, and they are destroying our home. The egg industry, for example, routinely disposes of male chicks at a very young age by throwing them into a grinder. Gosh. Oh. where they are crushed into so-called meat while they are still alive. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> How can we ever do this? How can we ever do this? Imagine, <laughs> imagine if it were our own defenseless children who were treated thus. Imagine if it's ourselves who were thrown into a grinder and made us suffer while still alive. My God, is there any hell more horrible than this? Mr. Ling Shu, besides being horrifically inhumane, even just to think about it, even just to mention it, it wrenches our heart. How can we imagine anybody would do this? I did not know this before either. I did not even know this. The more we go into this information, uh, the more we know about this terrible treatment to <laughs> to helpless and innocent <laughs> little chicken and animals i can't, i can't imagine we do this i can't i can't imagine anyone would do this <laughs> Gosh, oh. These activities are carried out in completely unhygienic conditions, making them a breeding grounds for deadly bacteria like E. coli and viruses such as swine flu, and in turn, Killing humans and making people suffer. A lot of people suffer, not by death, but by the separation, the loss of loved ones, even young children who die by swine flu and living parents. Painful, suffer so much. Uh, the damage in health effects of meat and dairy are now well documented for everyone to see. 
Um, besides being directly linked to increased risk of such fatal diseases as colon cancer, links have also been made to many other cancers, heart disease, stroke, diabetes, infertility in women, and even mercury poisoning <laughs> found in fish. Uh, another type of meat poisoning can come from arsenic, which is often fed to poultry to make them grow faster. And in turn, we feed, we feed ourselves with this poultry. Of course, then we poison ourselves as well. But nobody would tell us about this. So we are feeding ourselves with poisons every day, not just from poultry, but from cows and pigs, ducks, geese, and uh, not to talk about the cruelty beyond imagination that we are not even allowed to know and to see. If everybody see how the chicken were treated, how pigs are treated, and how little, little tiny chickens are treated, grind alive like that, I don't think they would want to ever eat chicken meat again. But we are not even allowed to see this. Most of the farm are hidden away from us, hidden away from our conscience. And we, for not knowing, <laughs> contribute to all this cruelty. And we, for not knowing, fit poison to our tender, young, helpless, innocent children and wonder why the sick, the ill have to make them suffer for medicine, injections, operation and cause us so much pain to us, the, the parents. If only all people know this, we are trying to inform them. Please help us to inform everybody. This, this is beyond hell. One U.S. study that looked at all sources of arsenic acid, arsenic, you know, a poison substance, said that among the highest are seafood and poultry. Uh, seafood and poultry, poultry means chicken, uh, ducks and all that, they contain the most arsenic. And you know arsenic is poison, yeah? Not only that, Chronic arsenic exposure has been associated with all forms of cancer in Formosa. Please look into the research and see it for yourself. In other research, 164 samples of ready-to-serve prepared meat foods from a scientific center in Formosa, I mean Taiwan, in Taiwan, were evaluated with up to almost 30% found to contain some form of bacteria contamination, including the potentially deadly lethal E. coli. Finally, in one of the worst animal disease outbreaks to hit the island of Taiwan, the virus called hoof and mouth disease was transmitted from one pig that came to the island in early 1997. Within just six weeks, 6,000 farms had been stricken, resulting in the tragic slaughter massacring 3.8 million pigs. Although in that case there were no reported human infections, this gives you some idea of how quickly animal-borne diseases can spread, causing devastation for themselves and humans alike. 
and these are just a few examples. So you can see Mr. Ling Shu, the best is to abolish meat altogether. Because unlike tobacco, drugs and alcohol, animal consumption is eating up our planet, is killing us humans and destroying our only home that soon we might not even have a planet to live on, for our children to continue to live on. We have no time to waste now, as in the case of the other three poisonous substances, namely uh, drug, alcohol and tobacco. Some of the tragic tolls of addictive drug abuse. Over 200,000 deaths each year. Costs of 181 billion U.S. dollars each year in the United States. 33 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Lifetime cost of current drug addiction amounts to 575 billion U.S. dollars in the U.K. Harmful effects. Brain damage. Stroke. Heart disease. Liver disease. Tuberculosis. Emphysema. Cancer. Depression. Suicide. Permanent memory loss mental illness, higher infant mortality, increased crime and violence, impotence. Crime and violence. Illegal drugs are a factor in 50% of burglaries in the United Kingdom each year. In the U.S., 60% of people arrested each year have been taking illegal drugs. 650 heroin addicts in the U.S. committed 70,000 crimes in a three-month period. Social costs. U.S. businesses lose 100 billion U.S. dollars per year due to employees' drug and alcohol abuse. Australians pay 53 billion U.S. dollars per year for health care, law enforcement, and lost productivity of drug users. Environmental costs. Every gram of cocaine produced destroys 4.4 square meters of rainforest with 300,000 hectares of rainforest lost each year to cocaine production. Death. 52 people die each day due to drugs in the U.S. In Canada, substance abuse is attributed to 21% of total deaths and 23% of potential life years lost due to early mortalities. Plus more. Some of the tragic tolls of tobacco, 5.4 million smoking-related deaths per year worldwide, cost of smoking-related illnesses, 96 billion US dollars in the United States alone. Light and mild cigarettes just as harmful, causes cancer and diseases in animal companions, speeds the aging process, toxic residues of third-hand smoke, heart disease, coronary thrombosis, cerebral thrombosis, kidney failure, cancer, lung cancer, esophagus cancer, kidneys cancer, bladder cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, bronchitis, stroke, impotence, additional harms for secondhand smoking, Childhood arteriosclerosis leading to heart attacks and strokes in adulthood. Sudden infant death syndrome, infertility, miscarriages and premature deliveries. Childhood asthma, bronchitis, ear infection, cleft lip or palate. Hyperactivity and aggression in asthmatic boys. Circulatory problems in women. Plus more. Some of the tragic tolls of alcohol. 2.3 million alcohol-related deaths per year worldwide. Cost of alcohol-related illnesses, 186.4 billion U.S. dollars in the United States. Up to 210 to 665 billion U.S. dollars globally. Disease. Higher amounts of alcohol increase the cancer risk. Even half a glass of wine daily increases the risk of mouth or throat cancer by 168%. Cancer of the liver, breast, colon, esophagus, rectum. 
liver disease, cardiovascular disease, metal toxicity, brain damage, amnesia and dementia, brain shrinkage. Organ failure, heart, liver, kidneys, stomach, pancreas, eyes. Birth defects, mental retardation, fetal alcohol syndrome, stunted growth, facial deformity, sudden infant death syndrome, miscarriage. Alcohol-related violence. Child abuse, 50% of cases. Violence toward loved ones, 30% of cases. Violent acts, 40 to 80% of cases. Suicides, 20 to 50% of cases. Plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Even if we put labels or warning on the meat a package, is not sufficient. Now we can see meat is everywhere, legally killing us and our children, legally killing our planet, killing the environment in massive scales. We must stop animal production now and at all costs if we want to keep this planet called home. The government gives subsidies to animal industry anyway, so these subsidies can also be used instead to turn meat and related businesses into wholesome vegan businesses. Good for the people, good for the business, good for the planet. Doing this, we only gain hugely, not just immediately, but for the long, long run and we can keep this planet forever and make it into a paradise by just throwing that meat away and stop the animal industry. So please, Mr. Ling Shu, use your media power. Join us in informing people of this harm so that they simply stop eating meat. It's too cruel. It's too unwise. It's too insufficient. It's too unsustainable and is killing our people and our planet, legally killing. If somebody go out and kill somebody, we put him in jail. Meat is murder. Meat is killing billions of people, killing our planet, our only home. We have to do something about this crime. It's really simple to be veg, and it is the only way to a future for ourselves and all beings on this world. Thank you, Mr. Ling Shu, for being veg and doing what you're doing to help to save the planet and save us from being the cruelest being in the universe. Wishing you all the best, and God bless your effort, sir. Thank you, Master, for strongly advising for us. We really should stop eating meat. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production. Swine flu, Ebola reston virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, salmonella, Bird flu, mad cow disease, or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk, pig's disease, or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, campylobacter, clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. 
colon rectal cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer-related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth. Uses up to 43% of the world's cereal. Uses up to 85% of the world's soy. Cause world hunger and wars. 80% cause of global warming. Plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Cowpox from milking cows. Bacterial microbes, pesticides, and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate, and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Listeria and Crohn's disease. Hormones in saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis, classified as a major allergen, lactose intolerance, plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Next, we have Mr. Lin Hongrui. The president of Swiss, the first website promoting vegetarianism in Formosa, Taiwan. Wow. 亲爱上师，呃，因为由于我们一直都在网络上进行推广素食的活动，所以我想请问上师，针对现行非常流行的 S N A 网络啊，比如像 Facebook、Twitter、Plum， 可以在素食对抗地球暖化上面，我们应该会有怎么样的作为？或者可以有什么样改变的地方？谢谢。Oh, sure, 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 Mr. Lin. Welcome, and I'm glad to see you are vegetarian as well. Hopefully, a vegan, huh? <laughs> Congratulations for your noble initiative in、uh, being the first to establish a vegetarian website in Formosa. Ah,、uh, Formosa in mean Taiwan, eh? <laughs> you know, right? I hope. <laughs> I like the name Formosa because it depicts your island, meaning beautiful. So、uh, that is truly an accomplishment. So you are already leading the way in using modern technology to reach the public. Everybody could do like what you do. You're right. They should emulate you and do the same to spread this information about beneficial. Vegetarian diet to all corner of the world, every corner of the world, everybody should know this. By the modern technology, by internet.、Uh, you asked about what the social networking sites can also do, assist in efforts to halt global warming through the vegan diet. I say vegan because, as explained earlier, this really is the way we need to go to stop. The greenhouse gases and the animal suffering. Yeah, all the website should help to promote this, but we can't force them. We can only plead with them, can only inform them, and everyone should decide. Please decide soon, otherwise we might have no time. We might not have anything to save. When we do want to save, it might be too late then. Please do it soon now. So promoting the planet cooling vegan diet through social network、uh, is surely good. Yes, yes. You can surely use them to spread the veg idea, ah,、uh, veg benefit, veg planet saving, 
and the website themselves should do it also. We should inform people what good for them, hmm? because it's also good for us. We are living in the same planet. We should also inform people about the terrible harms and costs to our environment and the health of people and children, as well as the life and death matter of our world and related data. We have to inform them all. Almost all people can do this, passing on the true information, the true cost of the animal diet. These can be effective because they use the most modern technology to reach the public. So yes, Mr. Ling, please spread the Be Veg message and get the word out to as many people as possible. Help people to wake up because time is running out on us. Thank you for your dedication to this noble cause, and I wish you all the best in heroically helping to save our world. God bless you. Buddha bless you. Thank you, Master, for your very insightful and useful advice.素食抗暖化其实是最非常有效的一个活动因为吃素可以把地球暖化的问题降到最低Thank you for your eco-friendly presence for today's episode of Words of Wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for part 8 of Protect Our Home with Love. Music and poetry is coming up next right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May God bless our planet with peace, friendship, and harmony. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.